if you have already watched my previous video then in my previous video uh, uh, yeah I did talk about how to get all those SS database table and the whole database contain to our CSR programming up here in our main window and in data grid and display it uh, like I'm gonna show it right now and run yeah like this yeah, I have done this on previous video if you haven't watched that one uh, then you can just go and watch the video on my channel now this is not enough so we are really working on something project like a company project and this is not enough just to display the data so we need to have to have two-way connection to the database so that we can insert data from here and that should be updated in our database table and we should be able whatever updated in database table we should be able to get access from here and I'm gonna close for this now all right it's the same code there's no change in here uh, just a simple couple of lines code not even 40 lines so yeah the only thing is you have to make sure your connection string the connection string is okay is okay so that you can get connection to your uh, your database okay now I'm gonna show you how to insert data from your uh, programming from your code to your database table to access database all right let's start for that we need to first give the form where the where the user can actually enter mm, the content the element is uh, row fill up the row or whatever is required okay for that we need to create so this one we need to create go to add do right click on the top of your project go to add and go to the windows wpf and give the name so give name students form okay because we created the student database so student form and this form whatever we want the users to give us data so first we need to group the data grid So how many tables we need is hold on I need one first name so give label label where do you want to display your labeling words so you want to display first name is done now if you want to give a color you can give a color and it's up here in the brush go down here give a color only if you don't want to it's okay otherwise yeah now we need a text box where they can actually give the information with this one 
So whatever we have in our database, so we'll be this uh, we will be getting all of these in from here. So first name, last name, address, date of birth, phone number, and grade. We can we should be able to insert every data up here on this table, and it should be displaying on database, and it should be saved up there in database. Okay, let's do a little bit of coding. We don't have that much to do up here because it's not that hard. Okay, let's go up here. And on this part, the first thing we have to do is um, they do have OADDB, so we think, yeah, we need to go for that using that we did in the previous one to system dot uh, data dot OLDB connection, not that one. OLDB, yes, this one so now we can proceed forward so after the initial component here first we need to give the whatever happens whatever these things can be filled up right now if i run the program but the acts and whatever is written up here should be saved so that will be saved once you hit the save button so double click on that save then you will the event trigger will be uh, created up here event handle will be created then so we need to give the connection as we did in previous one so for that we can go down here copy the code so copy the code open connection control C there you go so now connection is open for this phase too for this year here again we have to do the second thing because we need to give the command string so let's go for the command string as well OLDB command exit no problem we can just copy both of those lines come down here paste it but we actually don't need this command we are not looking for this command actually so we are doing in short command this time for that we will do something different something different so whatever is insert command working on let's do let's write the command first string command string equals to we are writing the insert command this is called dynamic query students so we have so it's not a student table inside into the student table mm, where the other one goes at the end so that's okay where first name last name you need to give this name matches exactly to the column name of the in your database table if you don't then the uh, apple create crash and nothing will be connected to your so is is this the this is the key so make sure you have the same spelling most of the time we get a spelling error so yeah but we don't have a department but we do have address and before the data bot also make sure is this in this address then after address I have phone number phone and I don't actually have a little birth in there hmm. I overlooked great so, all right done great first name last name address phone number and grade first name last name address phone number grade okay done so this is still phone phone still very great okay done we go back first name last name address phone address phone and then grade okay now what we are passing up the values so write down values that's the query so here mm, it's the dynamic query so we'll give 
what this question mark sign for four times because we have four parameters to fill up so it comes after your query okay so one two three four five actually i put it looks like i need to get the mess my class one two three four five okay done all right now let's proceed we're gonna give world be command command equals to new world be connect command in here instead of this query we have this dynamic query so we'll give the query variable name command string command string dot connection so now it's done here just down below the the execute will be done after everything is done so first we need to pass our uh, very our data so insert command so this is the insert command so let's make it readable insert command so while well, we install insert command it goes to new insert command so make it insert command dot parameter you look down there you have to have parameter parameters dot add with value so what value you want to pass to the with the parameters first name so first name so first name first name so that's uh, from where you want to pass from your text box which text box first dot txt because that's a text box so just do same for other one too Okay, done. There's something we don't need. Okay. So far, we are done up here. Now we need to give the command insert command dot execute query. If as we have done down there, execute non query right as you have done this one earlier so here execute non query semicolon and connection should be closed after this uh, do you remember we have open connection but now we're going to close the connection this point because we're done we'll be done after executing the query we don't need the connection no more connection and dot close okay then after what happens after the connection close we need to navigate this to the main window because we have to display also once we insert the data we need to make sure that data is added and display the same th everything now here instead of this one let's get rid of these now here main window main window let's give the variable name for the main don't give the main is the reserve word so let's do the other one new main window m dot so so that means it will so everything and then this dot close this dot close means it's gonna close these things this string form so and string form will be created once this close main window is open then the string form will close let's run first okay Hmm. we did something wrong because we were supposed to give the button to go to the student form so unless we can't just navigate to this form we have navigated from this form to main window but from not from the main window to this one so let's keep one button down here okay tools 
bottle. Add new student. Okay. All right. Let's give the name of this one. Btn. Btn. Add. Alright, so what this should do, this should trigger you to the student form. You just have to navigate. So for this one, it's just simple. You just write it down the student form. Uh, give the variable name, student form sf equals to new student form. Okay, now so. So student form dot so. Because it needs to be open up once you click the button. And this main window should be get, get it, should be closed. So this start close. Okay. Now let's run the pro program. I haven't done anything. Just these were we done previous in our previous video. So there's nothing else here in order to show everything that we have in our data. We need these things. This query and digital item source equals to command and execute reader. Okay, you can give refresh if you want to, otherwise, refresh doesn't actually require in here. Then, in here, we just mm, give the uh, dynamic uh, created the dynamic query and then pass it up here in the command insert command. So, LDP command line. Then, we just pass it the parameters using the text box. So whatever is written in the text box, gonna be gonna be in here, and this will hold till you act, till you did the save button. Then the command the execute line will see in forty five line, the command will get executed. Then this will close and it will fire you to the main window. Then main window will open, and it will just show your everything, the data you have. Let's run. Yeah, there you go. We, whatever we have in our, let me pull up my database and show you in the same time here. Okay, this is my database that we have. Refresh one more time. Refresh all. There's nothing. There's four, four. Okay, let's do add. Let's give the new name uh, Charlie. Charlie Dongol address Kathmandu phone number. He have kind of weird phone number, so give this one grade. He's pretty good guy. So three point seven five. Save. So it's swap up here. Charlie, it really come up. And now let's see on our database. Let's refresh. Charlie. And now we can also list from here to on this one. I'll show you right now mm. when this is running. I think you can't edit. So if you let me try, mm. Marley, let's say Maria, Maria, mm. Rampe. See, it's from Brazil. So phone number this should be a number so just give the number see it's pretty annoying so just do this and save the data save I don't feel I'm not sure save will work okay and new student add program crash because we have given nothing so let's run again as you already know I'm familiar about the proper uh, SQL if you don't provide anything because of the primary key the, it can't be null actually that's the thing I I just gave Marlia as you saw Marlia from here it came up so is two-way connected okay two-way connection is done thank you so much